Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Today we are talking about the Netflix movie called Cuties that's coming out the 9th or 7th next month. And I'm just going to be covering three things on it. Is it okay? What's wrong with it? And why it should not exist. Well, let's get into it. For one, I do not think that cuties is a good idea. Just to make that clear for everybody. I do not think it's a good idea. Because it... The, the girl is 11 years old in this movie. The girls are in elementary school elementary or the beginning of middle school and I find that quite disgusting because let me pull up um, what's it called a screenshot of everything here it is and well, let's just say it's not good. Honestly, they they could have done better. They could have done better explaining it, writing it out, but no, they just put the description as that and personally I, I don't like it and for many people they're excited to see this and I think that's okay for the older people that are men and women in general I don't feel comfortable with them watching this stuff Because it's an 11 year old twerking, learning how to twerk. It's a group of 11 to 12 year olds twerking. We have lost and training. dancing. And, and we have taken so many course. scenes in the trailer are just disgusting to look at. Like. Seriously, who thought this movie was a good idea? This movie does not need to exist. Like, God. We are losing objective Lots of minor attracted people, aka pedophiles, aka maps. We have taken objective Edward. Have probably seen this and are like, hey, that's nice. Let's do this. Let's fund this. Let's watch it. Let's use our minds to make shit dirty. That's the reason why I have problem with have problems with people that are over the age of twenty watching this. From 20 down, that's I can accept that. But from the older generations, I, I I can't. I honestly can't accept that they can watch this in a good conscience. I myself am am 15, and I regret watching that trailer. It made me feel disgusted, awkward, and just overall, I hated it. Because there's a scene. Ugh. There's a scene in the middle of it that's just. The main character looks over the edge of something, sees these four girls dancing in skimpy ish 
in weird outfits that are too revealing for that age group. Like, where are these kids' parents? Because I sure as hell know that if I was one of those girls' parents and I saw what they were wearing, they would not be wearing that. I would pull them out of that instantly. I don't care how much money my child will have gotten paid. My child does not deserve that. And any parent who thinks that that's okay, you are messed up in the head. You are messed up in the head. I don't care what you say. It's wrong to have your child act in a movie where they are doing sexualized things because twerking is a sexual thing. It is. It's been related to sexualized things for so long now. And any parent that thinks that this is okay, no, just no. You are one of the reasons why pedophiles still exist. And why there's so much of them. I'm sorry for all these pauses, but this is taking a toll on my mental state because I am furious at the parents. You cannot hear it in my voice, but I honestly don't care anymore. I don't care what people think of me after this. I'm just trying to keep the younger generations and my generation safe from pedophiles safe from these mistakes which will send them down into a spiraling fireball because I know after this if they are still child actors not many people will people will still hire them definitely but not as many people as they would get if they didn't do this movie that main group, the main cast is gonna suffer in their careers. They're gonna suffer. They're gonna get so much criticism. Not the kids, the parents. They're gonna get so much criticism after the names of those children come out and the parents are found. They're gonna get so much criticism, so much hate. And Honestly, I think that they deserve it. They've messed up, and they need to figure out how to work with it. So, in conclusion, this movie that's coming out is not a good idea. It's not good. It's not okay. Pedophiles will be jumping on this movie to satisfy their dirty minds. Because these children are in like crop tops. Crop tops and short shorts. Like shorter than average shorts. They're almost in that short short. Short shorts range. And I'm, I'm just gonna do this recording once and have that dealt with. But, seriously, parents who think this is okay, you got, you got to get help. Parents of children that act, please get help. You are putting these children at mental risk when they're older. And they'll see this movie and be like, Huh. What sensible parent would let me do this? Why would my parent let me do this? This is so weird. This is scary. This is disgusting. That's what people will be saying. That's what your children will be saying. 
they will look back, see how dumb you were, how inconsiderate of their future you were, and if I'm being honest, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. And now let's get into the main reasons why this is bad. A bad idea. One. Pedophiles. Of course, they'll be going to this. They'll be flocking to this movie. In an instant. They'll be flocking to it just to satisfy their dirty minds. Two. The parents. They will get so much backlash once the movie is finished, once everything's done. The children will get outcasted, most likely, in their schools from all this drama that's happening. The children will suffer. They will. No doubt about that. They will suffer. Not mentally. Maybe mentally. Maybe physically. They will most likely get bullied for a short time. Afterwards, like after they've gotten their months or a year of their fame in their school. A month or a year of fame in their school. That's what they're going to get. And then after the children in that school realize, wait, this is weird. This is abnormal. This is gross. She will get bullied for years. Those kids will get bullied for years. And third, the, the parents l sound like they don't care. They haven't responded to any of the criticism from what I've seen so far on Twitter and any social medias that I have that I've been following this. I have not seen any of the parents hold themselves accountable or even respond, in fact. All I've seen is silence and when the silence breaks those parents are gonna get so much damn backlash that I I don't know what's gonna happen and well Jesus Christ like I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen for sure. This movie might get cancelled. It might be put on hold. Hopefully it gets put on hold. Because I don't want these kids to get scarred from what their parents are doing to them. And the next one. The criticism that this movie is getting, that the directors are getting. This is going to heavily impact those directors and Netflix reputation. Actors won't want to act for Netflix or the directors that are directing cuties. Most likely they won't want to act, they'll refuse to act even on high payment. Netflix after this is definitely going to go through hard times. No doubt about it. It's going to go through hard times. For a while. And anyone who says otherwise. And says that Netflix will just bounce back even stronger. And hopefully you're right. Because I love Netflix as a movie. As a place. As a show place. As a place for entertainment. I've been watching Netflix for years, and I don't want to see it gone. And, in my opinion, if Netflix disappears, I lose a whole chunk of my childhood. We have taken a and, honestly, if I lose that, I don't know what's going to happen, because my childhood was full of Netflix movies, Netflix originals, from the age of nine to right now I've been watching Netflix on and off, 
but for a majority of my life, I've loved the children movies, I've loved all the things that they've put out, other than the horror movies, the romantic comedies, the romantic, dra romantic dramas, those things I haven't really enjoyed, but everything else, is bring a, it brings a smile to my face, and it's going to hurt to see it start to get pulled down. Lastly, let's go on to why Netflix should be cancelled for a while. Netflix, if you find anyone that works for Netflix in high demand, if you find this video and you've made it this far, thank you. But you need to stop this. You need to refuse this movie. You need to delete it. You need to redo all your shit. You need to redo all your shit, fix it, and then flush it down the toilet and do it two times better. Because I'm getting tired of your shit. This, these child actors in these skimpy outfits don't deserve this. They do not deserve to be put through the mental strain that they will get when they are older. So please, if you ever do something like this again, think of how it will have a mental effect on the children, on the parents, on the community, and most importantly, on your guys' success. Because there is many other things, other sites, for movies and shows that, let's just say, are trustworthy. As trustworthy as you and cheaper. If you do not resolve this and fast, you will lose money. You will lose everything. People will stop buying Netflix. They will quit. They'll move to other things. They'll move to other movies sites. And I'm afraid that I'm going to have to do that as well. If this shit keeps going on. Because you've uploaded onto your site three movies with teenagers in stupidly skimpy outfits and slutty outfits. Teenagers that are 13, 14, and 15. And 16 and 17 and 18. 18 years old, 17, I can understand. 16, 15, and 13, I cannot understand. That is unacceptable. Yeah. 17, 18, that's it. That's all I can accept for skimpy and slutty moments. Anything else is a no. We are and children that are almost that are two years out of their one digits. You deserve nothing. Your management deserves nothing. Your payments, the hard workers on there deserve money. But the people that just accept these movies and I know Netflix that you've gone have to go through exception stages to where it meets your guys' standards. Because you guys have taken years to bring out a movie that I wanted to see so bad and it got added like last year. And we have lost objective Edward. That's it for today. I'm I'm done. I'm getting too mad, and this is my new commentary stuff. I'm going to be reacting to drama, I'm going to be posting on drama, everything, in a matter of weeks. This is going to be an off and on thing. I might go back to role plays. I might do that. But I know that I'm going to be doing commentaries more often because 
I've, I've always wanted to do commentary. For a while now, I've wanted to do commentaries. And, in my opinion, making commentary videos is fun. If you guys want to see any more of this commentary stuff, like, comment, and subscribe, and share to your friends. Thank you. Peace. This is Silver Alpha Productions signing out for the night. See you next episode.